Cut that slice of cake from pineapples to chocolate. Chocolate part should not be included. This is how slice works in JavaScript. You can use it for array and the string. So the syntax is very simple. You just have to put the start index and end index. End index will never be included. So here is a quick example of to do's. So we have an array of to do's here. And here in this case, to do's dot slice one comma two. What does it mean? It means that it will start looking onto the index of one and then end on two and two will not be included. So task two will get printed. In this case, we are running it from one to three, one till three, task four will not be included because the mechanism is that the end index that you are putting will never be included in the outer output. So to do dot slice minus one. So minus one start looking from the right side, which means from the end side. And then here you can see that to do dot slice minus three will return you the elements from task two, task three, and task four. So slice does not change the original array. It returns new array containing elements from index begin up to but not including the end. So this is an other example of pagination. We have an array of all the users and now we need to display those users in pagination. For example, on page one, the user should be only two and page two user should, users limit should be two. Users per page will remain the same. The page will change when you click on the pagination. Okay, so this is just a, a quick example. Now you can see that page which is one minus one and multiply by users per page. So what will happen? Zero multiplied by users per page, zero slice start index will be zero. And in the other case, you can see that page, which is one multiply users per page two, then it, it, the in total index start to the end index will be zero to two. So on the first one, this page one, uh, Alice and Bob will print it. And on the second term, on, on the second page, Charlie and David will print it. Why? Because on the second case, the index will become two minus one, one, one multiply by two, two. So it will start from the two. And the, here you can see that two multiply by users per page will become four. So two and till four, but don't include the four. So this is how it will work. If you're curious which tool did I use to create this animation, I use Synapify.